Hi, good afternoon, Corey Thorne, psychic medium, spiritual healer, and life coach coming in to do my channel message for the month of June 2019 for my Leo. Um, and this is a general reading. Remember, it is not a personal reading. It might not resonate with you this month. If it's not, then it's not for you. This is what's channeling through as a collective. Um, please also remember that this is not to replace any medical or scientific, um, psycho scientific or psychological evidence or information that you have been given. This is an entertainment. If you are watching, cross-watching for somebody else and there's a message that resonates with you, then it is for you this month. That's why you're watching. So, Leo. Um, Leos, Leos, Leos. It's like, stop. Stop. Take a breath. Take a breather. You have been in overdrive in trying to make life go how you think it should go. And it's just like... Um, Wash off the mud on your face. Wash the mud off. Wash off the dirt. You've been dig digging through the trenches. You have been like just kind of selling yourself short. And this is not for all of my pet Leos. This is, for, this is for a little group of my Leos who have been trying to, trying to be in charge in this world. And I hate to have to tell you, you're not in charge. <laughs> you get to do the work. You get to do the work and you get to be proud. And this is where you have to, you get to have pride in, in reaping the rewards of the success. But the success, the level of success that you have been looking for, searching for, has not been happening because you're trying to make something go in a direction that you don't want it to go or you're trying to make it happen on your time and not just on the time that's, that's divinely placing things in order for you. Everything has been halted because there is some change coming in your lives. And it's, um, it's inevitable. It's faded. There is some faded changes happening in your life. And as much as you want to hang on to something, and it could be a relationship, um, it could be an aging parent, it could be kind of um, trying to take on a job that, or trying to kind of, take on a job in a new place or something like that and or trying to get promoted to something and it hasn't been working and probably the promotion has not been happening because it's you're going to be going into a whole new job altogether or you're returning to school or something um and the aging parent i just feel like that aging parent is just saying to you, just let me let me live out my time just let me do whatever so you're being told to go inward it is time to go inward and start to ask yourself the questions because your health, your energy, your 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 energy, your your kind of energy around you kind of is just keeps getting lower and lower because you're losing faith and it's um, you have to know that once you go inward and you start to claim back your sense of your sense of power within that you're going to get the answers and you're going to you're going to realize that things are moving. It just wasn't moving at your pace because something had to die. Something had to leave. A situation, uh, somebody was getting ready to leave Earth, whatever it may be, but something had to die off in order for this next phase of your life to, to be ready, to be ready to start, to be ready to go. Um, and it's like once it's rooted, once all the, once the rooting is done, once everything is in place, watch and see. It's like unlimited possibilities. There's new opportunity, but you're leaving something. You're leaving behind something. You can't stay doing what you're doing because the level of unhappiness in your heart just don't feel right for me. I just don't feel that you've been happy somewhere. It's some, and this is not like, this is like 5% of my Leos I'm talking to right now, but it's like some of my Leos have been very unhappy and it's uh it's time to kind of get this shit under control go into what is what is it you want it's like there you've been going around 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 like in a maze that you thought that you thought there was no way out of is what it feels like so you've been going around 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 in a maze that you thought there was no way so you're going backwards and you're always because you're trying to see you're looking at the the picture you want to see at the end rather than what's happening in the moment so you keep trying to hang on to everything that's happening and not, not looking at what's happening in your life right now. Because what you've seen as your dream as, as the picture was that you decided that a couple of years ago or whatever, but now we're right here. And, but a lot has changed since then. So let go of the picture. 
Let go of how you think it should look. Go back into your present moment. What is not working? What is my truest of tru truth? What do I need to see happen? Or what do I need to change? What's, what changes do I need to make to bring myself into the, living the life that's at the highest good for me? What changes do I need to make? And sometimes it's so facing that reality. And then there's just, once, once you do, you, you start to be able to walk around again. Now you're not running, you're not panicked, you're not in the fight or flight brain. You're calm, you can breathe, you can think, and then you see there's an opening and then there's a new opportunity and, you're, and there's a, just an opening to get out and get moving and you can breathe. And as you're going, you just be able to make that full circle and start a new life. Start a new life. It's like new beginnings, sacred. So you got to go into that sacred place. You're the, you, in you is the sacred place that you need to go. And here's the unlimited possibilities. You're planting new roots. You're rerouting yourself. You're planting. You're starting a new life again type of thing. And some things have to die off. There's some things have to die in order for, for new life to begin. And like I said, it could be an old job that you've hung on to, an old relationship, or just somebody who's ready to pass and you keep trying to hold them here and they don't want to be here. Remember, you have no control. Oh, I've got lots of trees. Hmm. I feel as if I'm going silent for a moment because arguments, arguments, you, if you're in a relationship or in a marriage, I just, I feel like there's been a lot of arguing. A lot of, you've been arguing, so it could be work, it could be with a mom or a dad family member, sister, brother, something, but there's been a lot of arguments and you're here to learn and you learn to teach and to learn from each other. What have you been learning and what, what are you, what are you teaching to everyone else? What are you teaching to your children by, by continuing and letting children see, see that it's okay to stay in unhealthy relationships is kind of what's coming up for me is, um, hmm. Be careful what the eyes of young people see and um, kind of, and know that there's also some of my, there's some of my Leos that are about to go into like more of a teaching position. You're getting offered something that's a teaching position. feels like it's in the trades maybe. And um, it brings you closer to, it's either the person you're with or a, a soulmate. There's somebody who is a soulmate, but it's a reunion like you've met before. So this this is twin flaming, I feel like. Someone who's about to be in, or you're in a relationship with your twin flame, but you're kind of on two different pages right now, or or you're actually moving in. I keep looking out because all these birds start flying past my window. And it's a reunion of souls was two birds. And out on a limb, you got to go out on, you have to go out on a limb to, to rediscover the magic in the relationship you're in or to, to allow yourself to connect into the soulmate or twin flame that's coming in for you. I just feel like there's a, there's a energy of a twin flame energy. You're rooting yourself in planting a new life and there's a new life happening. Um, I feel like if, you, if you're single or you're just moving out of a relationship or something, that you've already met this person. This is not the first time around. You've met this person before and you all you've, th you've thought about them, you try not to think about them, but you keep thinking about them. And it's just like, you're coming together now. Um, you're gonna have to, like one of you are gonna have to make a move or make a change. Make a move or make a change to make it happen. It's, it's gonna be worth it. Um, and just feels like all this happens now while well, the butterflies are out and the leaves are on, and the leaves are on the trees and by fall with all the leaves falling i don't know i feel like you're just when everything else because everything of your life that you knew before was dying away for new to come in it's like we have to die and you spend the winter kind of regrouping bringing yourself back up bringing yourself a new life um kind of embrace what's happening embrace this experience because there's a whole lot of this experience that you need to be present for to go through this um 
I'm going to go into the Mother Mary cards and just go from here. I just, a rooted, a change, a, a soulmate, and a twin, or a twin flame, which ultimately brings me to love, but it's like sacrifice has got to be made sometimes to get to what you truly want in life. You're very thankful for the experience. I just feel like very thankful for all the experiences that you've had and all the people who've been in your life. And it's like, the sobriety is you're finally ready to let go of the old addictions of being um, being the caretaker or feeling like it's your job to take care of everyone else. And just like someone who's either been OCD or in control or bossy and you're just like, just done. You're seeing clearly now what you truly want. <sighs> and it's like, start to see that good things are going to happen. And on top of all of those cards and all of that, where I'm talking about change and and death and things having to die away is on top of all that comes miracle cards and there's beautiful things happening there's i don't know i just feel like things have to just be stay in the state of knowing i know good things are coming for me i know good things are coming i just now have to move out of the way and allow it to just happen whatever's whatever's not working for me please take it away whatever is whatever's of my highest good please bring it in and it, and, it's, and it takes a lot of courage to say that, whatever is not working, whatever is not of my, whatever is not of service and is not of my highest good, it's okay to now take that away and move and, I, and bring in what's good and allow to flow into my life what is of my highest good, what will bring me the most happiness and joy to enjoy my human experience because it's time. I feel like you have devoted a lot of time to family family, 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 mom, dad, those people that you've just always taken care of. And now what you're, what I'm being told, this is a dad on the other side or a mom. It's that you now, now it's your time. You have to take care of you. You have to trust the way things are happening because there might not be as you thought. It might not be what you thought you wanted, but ultimately is what needs to happen. And um, here's the God consciousness card. It's just know that you're worthy. Hand, hand over all of these worries to God right now, to God consciousness, to whatever you believe in. Hand over all of your worries and that you've been going through to God and just know that with some patience and some time, things are making a big change. You just got to be patient because the, the, the things that are of your highest good that are serving you well are coming in faith. Have faith that miracles are happening Beautiful things will be happening. Some things are leaving, but you're okay. But you're okay because you're about to be you're about to be reunited with a love like you have not yet to experience up on this earth. And it could be with the partner that you are with that you finally stopped taking care of everyone else and decided that it's our time. We're going to take care of ourselves. Or it could be that you're finally stepping into a job that's just like so perfectly aligned for you and you're doing all the good things. And that, Or it could be a new relationship. It could be someone who's single who you've been waiting forever for that right person. But it just feels like all of this has been happening and then boom, in comes, ah, oh my God, this is how wonderful and magical this is. I just had to let go. And that's exactly, and I feel like there's somebody on the other side, she's a sister or an auntie, and she suffered her own addictions, I believe. I feel, feel like she was a drinker. She, she was a drinker. This is pretty specific. And she's just saying to you that you um, trust her. She, she, you were her support. You took care of her, and now she is taking care of you. And all will be well, all will be love, and all will be in the light. Much love to you all, my Leos, and have a great month. And just be patient. Everything is coming around full circle. Much love to you all. Bye-bye.